I'm here in Medjugorje, next to St. James Church. We are in the back of the church and I'm this, what's your name? That's it. What's your name? Jim, Jim is my name. Where yeah. are you from? From Ireland. From Ireland. Ireland. And how often have you been oh, in Medjugorje? I've been here many times, I've been 12 or 14 times, I've forgotten the number yeah. of times, but I enjoy every one of them. Yes. Why yeah. do you come back all these times? I don't know, the sense of peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's just lovely. And mm -hmm. you'd, you'd like everybody around the world. You, you'd, you'd like everybody to experience it, mm -hmm. because you cannot explain it. It's just a natural peace. And the people are lovely here. You meet the people in the best of humor. The people who'd only come and sample what life is like here, mm -hmm. they'd be much easier satisfied when they go back home. Because it's uh, just a natural peace, you know, lovely. Thanks be to God. And which place do you like most here in Medjugorje? What is your favorite spot in Medjugorje? I like the whole atmosphere, I like it all. I liked the mountains when I was able to climb. Mm -hmm. I'm not able to climb them now, so I'm quite happy to live in memories mm -hmm. <laughs> and the pleasant memories. But the whole, oh, the whole area is just lovely. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it very really hard to describe it, but it's just peaceful. And you meet the loveliest people. Everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm delighted to be, it's a privilege to be here. And you prayed the rosary? Oh, yes. It, here it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm believe you text me. Ah, yes, full there. Yes, that's easy. That's easy to pray here. Yeah. You know, and uh, because the atmosphere allows it, and you don't mind, you don't mind displaying it. Mm -hmm. You can have it around your neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. You can. Yeah. You can. Uh, so uh, you would love to have the same. You would love to see the people at home experiencing the same confidence and that lovely faith to have, you know, mm. that we were given, that we inherited it, mm. and we don't appreciate it enough, you know. And uh, uh, if people only realised what they've given away, there would, there would be. But, but anyway, please God that time will open their eyes and let them see what's really important. I'm retired myself now, so I have more time, and I can appreciate people who's not able to make it here because they're too they're too busy. And uh, uh, so um, it was one of our <clears throat> aims. My late wife mm -hmm. was one of her ambitions to come here, but she sadly she didn't make it. Mm -hmm. So, but she um, uh, she's, she's died since. So, but anyway. Um, Thanks be to God to be here, and some of the children have come out here too. Wow. Yeah. How many children do you have? Uh, five. Beautiful. Yeah. Three boys and two girls. And uh, the, the, the boy mm -hmm. has been out once with his wife and two children. Mm -hmm. And my daughter is out with her son twice or three times. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just nice to see them. I'd love to have them all to come. Please God, they'll all come in their own time, you know. And uh, because you feel they have something, they have something to get here, something to just, they'll get some happiness here that'll stand for them for the rest of their lives, you know. And because everybody needs, needs to have something solid to stand on, a good foundation, you know. And uh, we were given that when we were growing up, the faith was very strong in Ireland, mm -hmm. and we were given a good solid foundation to start from, and you would like, you would wish it everybody had the same, yeah. and that's more or less what that may. You pray for that, you know, oh, that you we gain it. You no? pray and pray, well, uh, it's easy to pray when you start praying, mm -hmm. that's the thing is, it's like everything, when you make an effort to pray, yeah. you, you, see, you seem to get the supernatural help to mm -hmm. pray more, you know, and it comes, it's not a burden. Just a natural sort of a, a pastime, if you like to call it a pastime, and it's, it's great. So I have a lot to be thankful for, to God, for opening the eyes. And uh, so you'd, you'd, love, as I said, you'd love to see all the neighbours mm -hmm. experiencing this. Yeah. That's my experience now. Mm -hmm. the, and what would you tell people, what is so special about Medjugorje? Why should they come here, maybe one time? Well, it's simple. Mm -hmm. Uh, the people are very nice. Um, 
I know we have shops there, but people like the shops too, including me say, we don't to see what's, what, what's mm-hmm. <laughs> in it. And <laughs> there's lovely artwork and, you know, even statues and uh, images have the, the, the tremendous, uh, tremendous art form, you know. And uh, so it should be, uh, everything about it is sort of so natural and there's a... Uh, uh, and there's the peace, there's an, and of course the services, the ceremonies are absolutely something else. Mm-hmm. When you come here in the evening, you come here for five o'clock, and you might you'd stay until the end of it. Mm-hmm. But time just flies by, and mm-hmm. you don't you wonder where you would never have the time at home to do it. You wouldn't have the desire. Maybe you might have the grace to do it, but it, it was just because everybody else is doing it too. It's so natural. That there's no um, no pressure, mm-hmm. and we take it for granted that that's the way, and, mm-hmm. and that's where we like the people at home mm-hmm. to sample a bit of this because it's so natural, and it will be so natural for them if they start it too. And I think and now the the state of the church in Ireland isn't that healthy at the moment, mm-hmm. but I think the day will come when there's a good effort has been made at local levels and places where they're reintroducing their traditional sort of uh, pilgrimages and uh, I, I think that's something to look forward to the people who go back to basics they're starting the, the rosaries on the street the street rosaries mm-hmm. the coastal rosaries mm-hmm. so if this were developed and properly nurtured I think that there's great potential with the enthusiasm then mm-hmm. of people who came here and witnessed it that's what I think is a big advantage, uh, and that people who come here, the witness, uh, the phenomena that's happening, not, you know, nothing but, uh, so much visual as the feeling you get, and the encouragement you get, mm-hmm. and everybody is, in the, it's so natural for people to talk about their faith out here that it's no, uh, that's, uh, of course, the, because the atmosphere is right too. Mm-hmm. So, and what is for you, if I may ask the last question, what is for you God the Father? Can you ca- characterize God the Father? People who don't know God. Well, as Her Lady said, and she's very sympathetic to the people who don't believe, and she, she describes it as people who don't know God. Mm-hmm. And I think she, that's exactly what, uh, because I find it easy to believe in God, but I can understand why people may not understand mm-hmm. because for one reason or another and our lady here is um, helping people to get to know God mm-hmm. and I go then there's Father Leon here he's after giving a lovely talk there mm-hmm. about uh, his experience mm-hmm. of how he came to know God mm-hmm. and it was uh, it was like everybody else he had his he, it was a struggle but he got there, mm-hmm. and he was sharing it then with other people. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I suppose that people, uh, that people will start in a simple way, just accept what they have mm-hmm. and work on it. And it's very interesting to talk to other people who've been here. Mm-hmm. And I think it is important that the people um, form, I suppose, prayer groups or groups of, of similar sort of interest and I think that's very important. In other words, one will strengthen the other mm-hmm. to uh, makes it easier. Mm-hmm. And um, so that's, that's, so that's Thank you so much for this beautiful interview. And you also say Father Leon is the priest for the English-speaking community English here speak, in, yes, yes. in Medjugorje. And he keeps talks after the English Mass he and gives, he places the religious objects on Saturday after English Mass at 11 o'clock every Saturday if you want to have objects being blessed. Yeah. And thank you for this beautiful interview. You're more than welcome.